Sexual assault is an issue many college students face during their time on campus. According to the latest national numbers, 23% of women experience a sexual assault at their universities. This happens to be about 5% of college men. As part of Women's History Month, the organization Men Can Stop Rape came to Radford University to present a program that has since caused a stir on campus. WSLS 10's Bethany Teak explains. Controversy erupts at Radford University after a Men Can Stop Rape presentation attracts a lopsided crowd. I really got an uprising of literally 500 women saying, like, what the heck? While the program was geared more toward men. The main theme of what it was was we're always told how to not get raped and we're not told just not to rape. More girls attended than guys. Radford's Panhellenic Council, a student-run governing body of RU sororities, mandated that every sorority member attend the March 1st event. We figured if all the women were there that it would show like a united front that this is something we really care about. The Interfraternity Council is RU's student-run governing body of fraternities. It voted 8 to 2 to require eight members of each fraternity to attend. IFC President Dustin Crank says that decision was made to make sure there were enough men to attend other events. Did you guys have other events going on that same night? Um, I can't recall right off the top of my head. I'd have to look back at the minutes. Craig also says the IFC was not aware when it voted that the PC was requiring all women to attend. I definitely think it's just as important, if not more important, to the men. I just believe it was a lack of communication. But many sisters had hoped the IFC would have required all fraternity members to go, regardless of what the women did. I think it would have been good if they had realized how we felt and that or even on their own that, you know, it is a good cause. The council say they have discussed the issues at subsequent meetings this week and will make a better effort to support each other in the future. In Radford, Bethany T, WSLS 10.